folks and welcome to Project Skyshock Part 3 coming to you from the Max Thrust RC Man Cave. Planes, rockets, dogs. And some of the Eagle Eye viewers amongst you may have noticed that I'm already spotting a new t-shirt. Boosh! So without further ado, let's get this show on the road. Okay folks, here you can see the motor I'm going to be using for Project Skyshark's next launch. It is a Pro 38 Cesaroni and it's a I-540, 634 newton seconds of total thrust, which is about the biggest I I can get away with. Once you get up to 640, it becomes a J, 540 newton seconds average thrust. So yeah, <laughs> she's going to get going and uh, 16 second adjustable delay. What's also interesting to see on this motor is March 23rd, 2006. That makes this motor a little over eight years old, so that just adds to the excitement. <laughs> right, now let's go into Roxim and see what data we can expect from this launch. All right, folks, as you can see, we're in Roxim here. Let's uh, open up the rocket and we'll go in here. We're looking for PK-34 Shadowhawk. There it is. Right, so we'll prep her for launch, display engine list, uh, CTI i540 White Thunder, that's what we're using, okay, we'll go with uh, maximum delay, 16 seconds, send her on away and see what it says. Uh, so we've got 5,492 feet, so that's just a little over a mile up, which is pretty good, uh, 615 miles an hour, hopefully we'll go a little faster than that, but I reckon it'll be pretty much spot on. Um, 28G, time to average 16 and a half seconds, velocity at deployment 19 miles an hour, optimal delay is just over 15 seconds, so 16 looks like it's going to be good, so we'll uh, need no adjustment to the delay charge on that one. Altitude deployment, well it's only about 11 feet less, so it's going to be quite a long flight actually, um, thank god I've got dual deployment because it's going up a long way, <laughs> so let's see if we end up getting pretty close to these figures, with any luck it'll be uh, spot on, cheers. Got big V now. Got it there. Got it there. It's yeah. Just, yeah, it's just coming to the side of the yeah, big V now. Come on. 700 foot we're looking for uh, the main. Is see that, that now? now? Yeah. Right now, yeah. There it is. Absolutely Perfect. brilliant, youngster. Thank you. Well done. Not far from home. No, that, that was I a great that angle. Wasn't it? Pad, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Another go. Right, that, that way. Yeah, we're almost on the pad. You know that motor was over eight years old. <laughs> <laughs> now you tell me. <laughs> wow. Mm. Back, it's like pad. it's homing. Homing. Oh, you're blowing it. Oh. oh. Well, I'm happy with that. Well, folks, there you have it. She landed safely and we got to 4,095 feet and about 660 miles an hour. Um, so quite a lot lower than we were expecting, but uh, the speed was quite promising. Uh, so that's looking good for breaking the sound barrier the next time. Unfortunately, there isn't any onboard footage. I had the camera on, but um, it fell off, which I knew it would eventually. So uh, I'm going to be securing that on a bit better for the next one. I hope you stay tuned and I hope you enjoy it and look forward to some more action from Max Thrust RC. Thanks.